Hello YouTube and Mr. Fox. Premiere Pro tutorial. Haven't done one of these in a while. It's because I had to uninstall the program to clear up some desktop room or to clear up some hard drive space. Um, but I'm getting a new hard drive soon so I can reinstall it then and I've got this temporarily. Okay, now the way I'm going to be doing this is that I'm going to be doing Final Cut tutorials as well. And every time I release a Premiere Pro tutorial, there will be a Final Cut counterpart. Um, which will cover the exact same um, concept, idea, it will tell you how to do the same thing but obviously in Final Cut. Well that's the plan and it should go ahead forward so let's get started. So very simple here, we're just going to be creating some text inside of Premiere Pro. Um, first thing we want to do is just bring in some footage just so I can demonstrate a few ideas to you first and we're gonna scroll to the bottom of our bin and we're going to right click on this side and press new item title and that is how you like create a new title in Premiere Pro it will um, ask you how you want it to appear because the way Premiere Pro deals with titles is that it treats it as a bit of footage so basically it's automatically going to match your current settings um, maybe not the time code so I'm going to change it to 25 and we're going to call this um, welcome you get this cool little uh, title box and what that does is that it's going to preview whatever is in the timeline um, so if we look in our viewer it is the same thing that's in our title viewer so if we scrub along in the timeline it's going to update on both so let's say the title um, comes up here and we want it to say enter if you dare now that's all, that's all fine and dandy you might want it like that but as you can see these whites may start to blend a bit because let's just demonstrate this quickly let's go effects VFX, color correction. We want to just add some levels. The through a color corrector will do. And if we go into our effects controls, through way color corrector, we can just change our levels. Let's go master. The bottom line is that, let's say, look, this look, this looks ridiculous, I know, but what we want is that we want the um, we want the whites to be white. So let's say that's white. Well, it is white. Um, and let's, in our bin, um, let's grab our welcome title. Let's put it over the text. And as you can see, it's starting to get a bit, whoa, can't see that. And you always have to bear that in mind. If we double click the text, it brings us straight back into the text editor. There's some cool um, preset styles in here. If you have a look, got some wicked cool stuff. I know some of this will make it easy to see straight away. Uh, some of this stuff might look good. And because our text is already in our timeline, it will appear in the viewer. I think this ice text will look quite good. Um, now the tools, if you look up here into our tools panel, work pretty much very similar to Illustrator and also to the tools down here. So we can scale it around a bit. If we grab a corner, we can scale it. And that will in fact scale the text. If you hold down shift, then it will lock the scale to make it uniform scale. Enter if you dare. You can uh, do some objects as well. So say you wanted like Let's say you did want white text. Um, you could have, let's say we have this underneath. Grab our type tool and um, type over the top, and we're going to write uh, a Dan Allen film. And if we highlight that, create this text, make this text white we can have that over the top of our object so obviously it's pretty cool, it gives you some nice um, nice tools to mess around with whilst you might have like a um, tight, tight 
or a title guy or a motion graphics artist who works on the actual titles um, we might be able to bring this to the front even arrange bring to front that's why it's not getting covered up by the blur so as you can see we've created a pretty cool like lower third type thing if you want to type downwards that's what this title is for um, Jeff just might not be able to be upright um, however if you wanted normal texts that was on its side you grab the rotate tool and rotate it hold down shift and it will snap so we've created a very disgusting looking load of titles um, take a look at this bit down the side now this will give you um, all your complex text editing stuff in fact I don't know what all this um, all this green nonsense is but it's basically something to do with strokes and gradients um, but you've got your fonts here so you can basically go through, I'm not going to tell you ha which font to use because obviously it depends on what um, what you need it for um, now here's a really cool thing that I like about um, Premiere Pro you don't have to duplicate that title to create one similar um, there's a button right here that says new title based on current title and you press that, you choose what it's called title 2 sounds fantastic and we're now in title 2, you can tell that because this drop box here tells you which title you're editing so we're in title 2 now and we can be like not get rid of some of this do 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 um, but as you can see what's happening is that because of where we are in the um, timeline we're hovering over already created text right there we go See now, Nat. Oh, we're gonna leave it like that. Oh, grab it, throw it in the timeline. Oh yeah. So we're gonna play. Jeff, Jeff, enter if you dare, a Dan Allen film. Beautiful. Now, you can add transitions to your text, uh, video transitions in this effects panel down here. Uh, you've got some dissolves, you've got some 3D motion, which might look quite good. Cube spin, drag that to the front of the text. We press the plus key to zoom in. I'm just pressing the um, le right arrow to, and the left arrow now. It looks quite cool. And as you can see, just mess around and see what you can come up with. Um, if you're doing end credits, I know everyone likes them good old fashioned roll up credits. So, what you can do for that, I'm going to right click again, new item title. Uh, we're going to call it end credits. We're going to scroll. To here so that we've just got black or transparent and you'll be like hey enjoy the film directed by Dan edited by Dan written by Dan starring by Dan which makes no sense but who cares um, so now you've got some titles um, you've got your title saved here which is kinda cool if you don't know what that is it's this grid and that basically lets you know this is the uh, center the um, horizontal center this is the vertical center and also some TVs will block out the text if it goes outside these borders let's line up our text like that now there's a few ways of doing this. I honestly think that the best way of doing it is manually. Because in fact this there you go, roll crawl options. We want it to roll. Start off screen, end off screen. And we can say ease in five, 
ease out five and basically that is how quickly and how slowly you want it to ease out so basically it's going to start off slightly slow and then get into the pace it needs to scroll up and then slow down towards the end press ok let's grab our end credits and as you can see because of all the motion they've got on them now it shows up as a video file look at the video icon as opposed to these title tools grab our end credits, pull it in here can it even extend it out and look for the far in fact it will be even slower to begin with and then it's going to pick up some pace in fact this isn't even English but that is creating titles in a nutshell hope you enjoyed, rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you soon